trapped somewhere between wanting to forget and wanting to hold on. David Jones. Okay, so today's story, honestly, if you guys saw from the title, is actually something really intense. And I won't lie to you, it is scary in these moments when things happen like this. Like, you know, getting kidnapped is nothing fun. Like, especially when it's someone that you know that's doing it, it just changes the whole entire thing. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba, and welcome back to another insane, intense story. So today's story is basically on how I got trapped in a girl's basement. Now, honestly, the way this all ended up happening was so out of the blue. And honestly, to this day, I still can't believe that it ended up happening. Because at first, I, I won't lie to you, I would say I liked it, but then I ended up not liking it. I don't know. It, it just became a whole conundrum. Basically, the story starts off all the way back when I was in high school. Back when I was in high school, I was a major player. This was my grade 11 year. And I remember I would literally do anything every single day. Meaning I would go hang out with the boys. I would hang out with random girls that I would just do the devil's tango with. And honestly, almost literally do anything. If there was a moment where I could say yes to something, I would do it. Unless it's with a guy, because I'm not gay. But going on with the story, I remember one time I was hanging out in class and I was just sitting doing my science homework in my science room. And basically, I was just doing the homework, doing the same old thing, and then a girl ended up walking up to me. Now, originally, I recognized this girl because this girl used to really always stare me down in my social studies class. But for her to be coming into my science class is really out of the blue. So I remember I looked at her and said, hey, like, what's going on? She looked at me and she looked at me like she wanted to almost kill me. It was actually kind of scary, but at the same time, kind of hot. I don't know why, but you know, it is what it is. And then she ended up saying to me, oh, like, I was just wondering if you like, maybe like you wanted to like, I don't know, like hang out today or something. Uh, why is what I asked her afterwards. And then she said, oh, like, I don't know, like, I think you're cute or something. Just like, why don't you like come hang out? In my mind, I found it really weird. But then afterwards, I don't know. Like I said earlier, I would say yes to almost anything. So I said, oh yeah, sure. I'll hang out. What you want to do? She ended up sitting down right in front of me and said, oh, like I got this like new projector, like put in my basement to like watch movies and stuff. And like, I thought it'd be cool to like watch a movie together. Now at this point, I'm like, sure, I'm down. And honestly, the movie that she suggested was literally Harry Potter. Now me, I wear circle glasses. So for her to say that she wants to watch Harry Potter was really out of the blue, but she basically really wanted to watch it. And I said, sure, why not? Cause I do love Harry Potter. Actually, I'm super excited for this new Hogwarts legacy game coming out. Oh my goodness, dude. If you guys are playing that game, comment down below. But basically I remember I ended up saying, sure, I'm down. And basically from there, she ended up leaving the classroom. But right as she left and I went back to looking at my paper instantly. And I mean, instantly out of nowhere, a friend of mine just came in. He came into the room saying, yo, bro, why did that crazy chick come in here? What? What do you mean crazy? Is what I asked him. And he said, bro, did you not know? Like one time a guy went to her house and literally like he almost died. What do you mean almost died? Is what I asked him. And then he ended up saying, dude, like, I don't know what this girl does, but like, dude, just don't trust her, bro. And he ended up leaving. He literally ended up leaving out of nowhere. It was like one of the most scariest things ever. But honestly, as a dumb high schooler, I don't listen to really anyone but myself. And I think most of us do this. So I was like, okay, whatever. And ended up going that same day. I remember I ended up getting inside my blue Toyota Silica, aka my blue car that I loved back when I was in high school and got inside it, drove straight to her place. And when I got there, she was already sitting in front of her doorstep. It was super freaky. And honestly, to this day, I have no idea why she did this, but it's whatever. Going on from there, I remember I decided to go straight to her place and I walked inside and basically from there, she ended up looking at me saying, oh, um, yeah, no one's home because like my family's gone for the weekend. So like, yeah, we can just like chill here for a bit if you want. I ended up saying sure. And you know, we ended up, you know, checking out her place. She had actually a pretty big house, but it was really old looking. Like, you know, those really big old houses that they had back then? Like, it was cool, but it's freaky looking. It, it's one of those houses. And basically, I remember we ended up walking around the house, and then instantly she ended up taking me downstairs to the basement, and I saw it. She had a whole movie theater room set up, aka it was literally just a couch with a coffee table beside it, which was bolted to the ground, scary enough, and basically a projector hitting the screen. From there, I remember me and her, we went upstairs, made some popcorn, and right as we were making popcorn, I remember she looked at me saying, oh, like, I'm just wondering, like, did you eat before coming here? I ended up telling her no. And then right at that moment, she ended up ordering a pizza, which I mean, that was very nice of her. Honestly, part of me started to think that she was almost obsessed with me though, because whatever I wanted, she just gave me like, no joke. I could literally say, yo, give me the devil's tango. And she would give it like instantly. But I didn't though. Obviously I took my time with it. And obviously we and her, we went downstairs. We waited for the pizza to arrive. We got pizza, we got popcorn and we started playing the movie. We started sitting on the couch and me and her, we started like, basically like, you know, cuddling and we started watching Harry Potter. We were watching Harry Potter, the first one. And honestly, I love it. It was super cool because like, you know, I literally got circle glasses the same as him. And also me and him had like very similar haircut. So like, you know, most people would call me Harry Potter and that's how I really got into the Harry Potter movies. And that's one thing she always mentioned when we were watching the movie and when we were sitting beside each other, she would always say, oh, like,
like he looks so much like him. Uh, thanks. Which was kind of weird because I was in grade 11 and in the movie, the kid's like, what, 12? I have no idea. It was super weird, but going on from then, I remember as we were cuddling, my hand was kind of like on the side of the couch near the coffee table and out of nowhere. And I mean, like literally in the most darkest part of the movie, this girl decides to jump on top of me, make out with me. And as I'm, she's making out with me, my hand's like kind of like off to the side near the coffee table. And no joke, I don't know where these came from, but she ended up handcuffing me to the literal bolted down coffee table. I remember she ended up basically handcuffing me from there. And I, I remember I looked to the side and I'm like, damn, that's kind of kinky. But then I thought, wait a second, why am I getting handcuffed? Because I never liked to be, you know, the one on the non-controlling side, if that makes any sense. But after this girl handcuffs me, no joke, for some reason, she started making out with me even more and more and got to the point where she went down and did the devil's blow. It was super awkward. And I remember I was like, okay, this is getting really weird. So I remember I kind of like told her to stop and she ended up stopping saying, wait, what's wrong? And I said, yo, like, can you unhandcuff me? Like, I don't really like this anymore. And she's like, you don't like it anymore? Are you serious? And she ended up slapping me across the face. She literally slapped me. Like what? It was super weird. And I remember at that moment, I'm like, okay, this is not going to cut it. Like, no, you can't do this. So I remember out of rage, I ended up trying to like, you know, break the coffee table, but I couldn't. No matter what I do, this thing was like made out of metal for some reason. So I remember I looked at her and I'm like, okay, listen, seriously, it's not funny. You know, take off the handcuff. And at that moment, I remember she got the remote. She paused the movie and looked at me and said, who do you think you are? Uh, hi, my name is Bubba is what I told her. And she's like, no, seriously, you think you can literally do the devil's tango with every girl in the school, but me. Okay. You know what? Until we do it, you're not leaving. And then right at that moment, she ended up leaving the basement and leaving me down there stuck with my pants down, just sitting in her basement. It wasn't until half an hour later where she came down with a cup of water saying, okay, you ready for another round? I told her, no, my eggplant's not going to get bricked up. If you're locking me in your own basement, this is like a kidnapping is what I told her. And then she said, oh yeah, well, like I said, you're not leaving. At that moment, I was panicking. I was like, okay, I got to do something. So I remember I ended up actually reaching for my phone. And right as I was reaching for it, she literally swooped in, pushed me on the ground and literally took my phone and walked away with it. I didn't have my phone. I was stuck. I didn't know what to do. So I was like, okay, I got to figure out what to do. Cause I was like panicking. And then right at that moment, the girl ended up leaving again. She left for like almost two hours. But in those two hours, I was thinking of a plan to get out of there. So I remember basically, I ended up basically, you know, sitting there thinking and thinking until I realized what I could do. I remember that she ended up putting the movie on Xbox and Xbox has Xbox Live. So based on Xbox Live, you can like kind of like call people, AKA go to party chats and stuff. So I remember I ended up going on her Xbox, getting the remote. And then basically I was going to go on my account and I texted one of my friends, yo, help me. I'm stuck at this girl's house. And then I texted the friend, obviously that, you know, warned me about the chick, obviously at first. Cause you know, he was the only one that would actually understand if I wrote that as fast as I could. So right as I wrote that, I sent it to him and instantly, I'm not even joking. I want to say 10 minutes later, cops ended up knocking on her door, but I was in the basement. I was stuck down there. There's nothing I could have done. But all I hear is that this girl ended up answering the door saying, oh yeah, um, nothing's going on. What's the problem officer? All nervous like. And at that moment, the cops knew that something was off. So they ended up going around the house, searching all the upstairs floor, but they didn't search the basement. At that moment, I had to do something. So I literally yelled saying, help me. I'm stuck down here. And right at that moment, the cops ended up busting the door down that I was stuck in and basically ended up unlocking me. And the girl actually ended up getting arrested because she did just turn 18, even though we were in grade 11. I know it was super weird. All I'm gonna say is, is that getting locked in a girl's basement is not fun, nor is kidnapping fun, nor is it legal. But like I always say, fall for more embarrassing stories. Peace out, guys.